Hello everyone, West Country Explorer here. I'm over in the West Dorset area today and I'm at a little village called Paulisham, which has got Anglo-Saxon origins. It's right next to the coastal road that runs between Bridport and Weymouth. And it's one of these little villages I've driven by many, many, many times over the years, but never actually stopped to have a proper look around. And it's a really pretty village. So I thought I'm going to come over and have a little walk around and show you the beautiful village of Portisham. Hope you enjoy, guys. Uh, just coming down into the village now from one of the minor roads. Now, part of the reason that I've come to Polisham today is because yesterday evening I did learn that there was some shale mines here back in the sort of 19th century weren't very successful because they kept flooding and that kind of thing so I, I did part of the reason I came over was to just see if the because there was a couple of sort of shafts into like shale shafts for these mines and I just came on the off chance that they would be explorable wasn't expecting them to be explorable and that's how it turned out yeah one one shaft I couldn't find the other shaft it's now just a pond well, big pool of water, so which is kind of what I expected it to be. Oh. Right there, so as you can see, guys, Hardy's Monument, not too far away. About, about a 40, 40 minute walk, roughly close to Abbotsbury as well got the Swannery and on top of the hill you've got the abandoned St Catherine's Church I've done a video on that oh, we're gonna to go to the church here a few bits of traffic about it's a lovely day summer has finally arrived Lovely clear water down there. Now, like I said, this is a Anglo-Saxon origins for Paulisham. There's lots of signs out here around the village. 10 2024. The reason there's a load of the signs like this around the village is because the first bit of recorded evidence of the existence of Portion was from 1024. It was a, uh, what's the official, oh, I'm not sure what the official title is. It's one of these boundary documents, basically a document drawn up by King, I think, was it King Canute? Was he the king at that time? But basically, yeah, it was a, one of these documents setting out the boundary of the village. Hmm. We've got the Church of St. Peter here. Go for a little walk inside. Yep, hello. Right Very old door. Right now, Portisham, there's two. Two main ways of spelling it. This one's got the I. And another way of that uh, say so that Portisham there. Portisham. Yeah. So you can 
can do it with either an eye or an E. little church. Quite nice. Very nice indeed. What I'll do is bring you along here. When I came to the village, I did drive around some of the back lanes in the village. I came along this road and there's a interesting little junction area just up here. Oh look, well, those are people around. <laughs> oh, look, look, I see like, lovely gardens around there. But the thing is, right, so a big area of all these little junctions, right? So as a driver, I suppose, would you treat it like a roundabout? Give priority to people coming from your right? Because well, there's a junction over there, this junction here, that junction there, another junction over there, so... I mean, I, I'm assuming something like that. Best thing to do, treat it like a roundabout. Almost. If you know what I mean. There's an old temperance hall. Oh. just imagine almost just about imagine what it must have been like to live here in the past when there's a lot of agricultural based jobs going most people work in the land just in, in previous centuries people have spent their entire lives in villages like this Born here, grew up here, married here, other family here, died here, spent their entire life in the same village. What it used to be like back in the day, centuries ago. Ah, nice bit of shelter. Boom, Mr. House.
I came down into the village from that road, that direction. That, uh, where that car's going, that's Back Street. And this road here is Front Street. Looks like it might have been a shop of some kind at some point. Well, like I said, a very nice little village. Very quaint. The old post office there. Church. Like the old school there. There used to be a school, there used to be a post office. And just there, that's the old store. Here we got the King's Arms. Was all around a bit, get a better shot. Very nice. Never actually been there. There's the main road just out there, well, the main coast road. Right, there you go. Boys, there you go. Look, charter granted seven high to polish them for a servant. Orc. <laughs> Easy ten foot ball. Right. But look at this guys, right, look at this. Right, just have a look, have a good <laughs> a green phone box. I mean how many green phone boxes are there? You know, one that's been turned into a bookshop. Well, a book swap place, a lending library. I mean, well, honestly, guys, how cool is that? A green, like, telephone box. Right, it's so cool. Right. So you've got a. Little map of the area. So, where is it? That's what I went to check out. So, oil bearing shale pits, Manfield shafts. There, I was looking for the shafts, but unsurprisingly, couldn't get to them. They were used in the 19th century, like as I said, reopened in early part of the 20th century now there used to be the Bridport branch line coming from Maiden Newton station and lots of like the Paulisham station and from there there used to be a tramway gravity inclined tramway that went up to the um, up to this area like quarry area And there's some Holloways and uh, uh, one thing I want to get to is the Hellstone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up to there. Oh, 
like that. Oh, I like that. Bit of history on the place. Ah, so a lot going on. Yeah, they see Portisham, also called Portisham, Possum, Possum, yep. Oh. Very good little map. There you go. King's Arm of the Beer Garden, Church Tower over there. And this is the main coast road between Weymouth and Bridport. Very scenic route, very scenic. You get lots of views, good views of the coast and like Chesil Beach area and all that kind of thing. That's just behind me is Ducks Farm Shop and Calf. I popped in there partly out of curiosity and partly see if they had any like sandwiches and that, but they didn't. Well, the calf bit does take away stuff, so you could probably get a takeaway sandwich from the calf. But it's one of those places, it's a very upmarket looking place, artisan type stuff. The kind of place that charges an arm and a leg and a couple of kidneys and a liver. So, yeah. I mean, I don't mind paying upmarket prices when I'm getting an upmarket product. You know, if the quality of the product justifies the price and I'm happy to go for that product, yeah, I'll pay the price. But I just wanted to grab a quick sandwich. And when it comes to grabbing quick sandwiches, I'm the type of person, I'm happy to like pay like, free quick for like quick like Tesco sandwich or something like that I don't really want to be paying top top dollar just for a sandwich so yeah oh across the road so that was a bit of a no-go they didn't have any and I probably wouldn't have wanted to pay the prices anyway in there is where the trains Portisham train station would have been back in the day it's all like private houses there now. So, yeah. And if we come along here, just by the main road again. Outdoor pool, lovely, look at that. So, down there, but just there. That's where the railway line would have crossed the road back in the day. So there you go, guys. That was a little stroll around the village of Portisham. Hope you've enjoyed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way up to the Hellstone. I'm going to give that its own video rather than do it in record, make it part of this video thought it probably deserved a video of its own so for this video that's it thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed look forward to seeing you in the Hearthstone video and in the meantime the usual stay safe take care god bless